What's up guys, it's Oblivious Gamer here, and today we actually got a lot of new information about Gundam Breaker 4. So it seems there was a live stream that was like almost two hours. And during that live stream, of course they talked about Gundam Breaker 4, and they showed a lot of stuff we even have like new gameplay to see, which I will be talking about. Now I think one of the biggest things that came from this live stream is that they announced that Gundam Breaker 4 will be getting a closed beta. And that beta will be happening pretty soon. Let me first talk about the beta, which you will probably be interested the most right now. So the beta will be between March 15th and the 17th for the PS4, PS5, and Nintendo Switch. There will be specific time slots, which I will kind of show here. Not bad to have time slots. I usually hate time slots. I'm more of the guys like, hey, here you go for 24, 48, or 72 hours, but it is what it is. So far, right? All great news. Probably excited because, hey, you might be able to try the game. However, at least as the time that I'm making this video, the beta is only confirmed to be available in Japan. However, you can still sign up. Uh, you will just have to go through some Japanese. From what I understand, the PlayStation version won't require PS Plus, but the Nintendo Switch beta will require the Nintendo Switch um, online thingy. I don't know any more of the specifics, but I will be leaving a link down below if you want to try and sign up. Um, I will show here right now quickly. Um, it's actually fairly easy, not a lot of questions. Uh, the first one is like what platform you want to get your code and then to put your email. And then the next part is just a questionnaire that asks you like very basic questions from a questionnaire. They're like age, um, gender, interest. It's like they, they ask you questions about the Gundam franchise. What games do you play? How many hours? How much money? You, you, you know, like those typical questionnaires. And then at the end, you just click, you just submit it and boom, you should be get, you should receive an email with the confirmation. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, if you don't understand Japanese, just use the Google Translate option that you have there and it should be fairly smooth. Now, the good thing overall about this beta, even if you or I don't get in and despite all the complications of only being available in Japan, at least we will be able to see the game in action and get an idea how it runs. Uh, there's going to be footage, there's going to be people talking about it. So we will be able to see if there are any massive problems, if the game just doesn't feel good or it sucks. Because one of the biggest problems new Gundam Breaker had, which was the previous Gundam Breaker that, or the last one, it crashed. It had a lot of problems and it was a mess. So for me, I feel a good first step is that the game runs at least a lot better. It's not a high bar, so uh, it shouldn't be that hard. At the same time, this is a beta, so things could go wrong easily. And yeah, the point of the beta is to test, you know, the game network and of course to point out other problems the game could have. But well, at least they can get feedback with this and fix things by the time the game is supposed to come out. Now, let's get into some of the new information. So for starters, the game will now feature a lobby where people will be able to gather and instead of being random pilots, you used to like have a small lobby and just to see like pilot faces and Gundam Breaker 3, um, it will actually be your build running around these lobbies. And according to the information of the beta, it will be up to 24 players in a lobby. So you'll be able to see 24 builds running around. Uh, you'll be able to do a lot of stuff in the lobby with like saying hello to people, interacting with others. You'll be able to meet other players, you know, show your build, do emotes, get together to deploy for a mission, which I think that's probably one of the biggest things they're trying to go with. You know, you go online and find people to do missions with if you don't have a group. Now, in Gundam Breaker 3, you could play with up to four people. However, for Gundam Breaker 4, it seems they lower that and now it's only three players. The beta 
will be featuring this lobby and of course the multiplayer mission so that's what you can expect there so far it seems okay personally i am not much of a fan of the lobbies i don't know i personally feel it's a bit goofy but i think the lobby will be received super positively and it's something players would want and appreciate having another thing to note from watching the stream is that it seems there was an increase in the amount of parts per type in gundam breaker you have a cap of 900 parts per type however for gundam breaker 4 it seems the cap was raised to 1500 i think this is fantastic hey more parts you can have more you can do and at the same time well between gundam breaker 3 and gundam breaker 4 there has been a lot of newer model kits so that means also more parts so they're probably maybe taking into account that and the fact that like people like collecting stuff an interesting thing that we saw with gundam breaker 4 from the stream is that the game will have a training mode like i was like pretty surprised about seeing that i think this would be very handy when you're building your gunpla and you want to test out different builds, different weapons, how everything feels. So you can be like, oh, I like this. Oh, I don't like this. And just on the fly, be like switching out instead of trying to do a mission or something to test things out. あ、そう、so I welcome the addition of a training mode. Of course, as we get to see the game in action, we get to see the in-game UI. Here, I will showcase the Gundam Breaker 3 UI, the new Gundam Breaker UI, and finally, the Gundam Breaker 4 UI, so you guys can see a difference. So far, I like what I see. Uh, of course, there's some cautious optimistics because of like New Gun the Breaker and it being Craft and Meisters again. So, still, I'm hoping we get to see more during the beta and see how it goes. I'm hoping more to get in the beta to try it out myself, but it is what it is. Now, the game will be coming out to multiple platforms as of when I'm making the video. There is no word on if the game will support crossplay. Personally, I do think adding crossplay would be really cool and help out for the long term of online play. But yeah, that's really all that I wanted to mention and talk about. I'm really excited. We'll see how things go with this game and we'll see if I get into beta. As always, though, guys, what are your thoughts? This has been Oblivious Gamer and I hope you'll have a wonderful day or night wherever you are.